Lesson 2.7, Multiply and Divide Mixed Numbers. In this lesson, we're going to be combining the two previous lessons that I discussed, which are multiplying and dividing fractions, except in this case, they're going to be in the form of mixed numbers. The first thing you have to know is that when you have mixed numbers and you want to multiply or divide them, it's best if you turn them into improper fractions. And you do that using what I call MAD. Multiply the denominator with your whole number, add that answer to your numerator, and then drag the denominator along for the ride. Now since we're working with mixed numbers, at the end, after you've done whatever steps you need to carry out, turn it back into a mixed number. And you would do that using two simple steps. Divide once, do you remember in and out? And then you would write your answer down clockwise. The first thing you have to do in this problem is turn your mixed number into an improper fraction. And that would be by using MAD. You multiply four times one, add three, and you end up with seven. And then you drag your denominator below it. So it becomes seven fourth. Now if you rewrite your problem, it now looks like one third times seven fourth. And if you recall the steps to multiplying fractions, you would just do numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator, which gives you 7 twelfths. Now you have to ask yourself, can I simplify? Or is it improper? Since it is neither, your answer stays as is. In example two, they want you to multiply those two mixed numbers. Here's the thing, you would need to turn them into improper fractions. If we use MAD on 4 and 1 half, it ends up becoming 9 over 2. If we use MAD on 2 and 2 thirds, it becomes 8 over 3. If you multiply those two fractions, you would do 9 times 8 and 2 times 3. And you end up with a fraction that's improper, 72 over 6. The steps there, if you need to rewind or if you manage to screen capture and pause at any moment, you'll recall that you're supposed to divide once and then go clockwise. Six goes into 72, 12 times. Here's the thing, when your remainder is zero, you don't actually continue going clockwise. You just stop right there. Your answer would just be 12, or in this case, 12 million cubic yards. In example three, the first thing you should do is turn your mixed number into an improper fraction. Once you've done that, be sure to rewrite the problem, which has now become 7 fourths divided by 2 fifths. Remember though, you have to use keep, change, flip when you're dividing fractions, and it becomes 7 fourths times 5 halves. If you use the steps for multiplying fractions, it gives you a, a product of 35 over 8. And here you'll notice that we're using several different steps from several lessons, so just make sure you're keeping up. And if at any point you need to go back and revisit an old lesson, feel free to do so. So in our final answer, you divide, you divide once and go clockwise, and you ended up with four and three eighths. In the final example, you'll notice that we have to turn both mixed numbers into improper fractions. Once you've done that and rewritten your problem, you still have to keep, change, flip. Then after doing that, you end up with 14 over 3 times 4 over 7. If you multiply the numerators, you end up with 56. If you multiply the denominators, you end up with 21. Since it's improper, you would have to divide once and go clockwise. You end up with 2 and 14 over 21. Now that step is not visible here, but you have to ask yourself, can you simplify that? The answer is yes. And always train yourself, simplify, simplify, simplify. If you do that here, your final answer is two and two thirds. As always, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if at any point you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or if you happen to be my student, you can email me or ask me in class. I'll be glad to help. Thanks for watching.